the Greek lizard, a true story. We had our talk. I learned that your desire was blind but had to be. I took a walk and wandered more or less resigned to set you free. Upon a rock above the shore with altered mind, I watched the sea. Near where I mused, a lizard, slight and green, took stage. It stood before me and perused my sorry plight and would engage me in a war. I was amused. It offered fight just like a raging dinosaur. On and on he came, ignoring pebbles that I tossed to make him stop. Deploring his stupidity, I let one fly at his hind limb. Unwittingly it struck and snapped his writhing tail clean off of him. The severed tail began to dance with its own life, a frenzied snake. And as it flailed, the lizard pounced in bitter strife for hunger's sake. With tooth and nail it bit and trounced the life from my mistake. The lizard loosed his jaw and gnawed one f the fat red stump and gulped it fast. The tail, while swallowed whole, whipped sawed and tried to jump free to the last. I watched, seduced by horror, awed. The tip's last flick left me aghast. I shuddered, pondering this rare and wondrous scene with dazzled eyes, and then upon us stranded there a seagull's scream filled clear blue skies. And swooping on this nightmare pair, he snatched them clean and ate his prize. I wandered back through antique marble columns by the storied shore, my thoughts pitch black, obtuse, bizarre, could not quite fathom why or wherefore, and I returned to nothing more than tearful sighs that barred the door.